I check it, a protagonist change up, flipping it back to Nate, yo. Don't worry, you'll keep all the weapons you had from Chapter 6. I still can't believe Dr. Hyle's gone. I just wish we could get even one person off, you know? I know, but there's us four. We've done okay so far. Wait, first we should find out which floor Bay 47's on. Well, is probably pissed that we weren't there 15 minutes ago. You seem to care about him a lot more than he deserves. It's complicated. Honestly, I think he's enjoying this just because it's something he knows how to do. Hold on. There's an outgoing transmission in progress. More survivors! It could be. It's from medical. Oh my god! Nicole! Nicole! It's McNeil! L listen, we, we found I a show! We... Oh shit, it's one way. She can't hear us. What's she doing? What? What's... Oh, no! Nicole, no! No! Damn it, Nicole! No! I'm sorry. We should go. Let's get out of here. Dad and Sam? What am I? Some kind of curse? Hey, I'm still here. You can't get rid of me that easily. I guess not. Okay, Lexine. Stay close. Got it. Something's not right. Weller should have contacted. Watch out!
Oh God. If those creatures are in here, Weller and Eckhart... They're okay, Lex. Trust me. Weller? Is this the right bay? Definitely. Weller! killed the dog. And you were right. He was a unitologist. He... He was gonna take the shuttle for himself. This isn't a stab wound. Son of a bitch shot me. Why? Who cares if he's a marker head? Why would he do that? I don't know. I think he finally went crazy. Like the others. The shuttle. It can fly, right? We can get out of here? Yeah. I opened the hatch. The computer just needs to be configured for a manual launch. Uh, but there is one problem. I was afraid you'd say that. The ADS cannon. Remember the fireworks show we got on the way here? Shit. It's okay. I can do it myself. Uh, like hell. You stay here, I'll go. Where are the controls? Captain's nest. Off the bridge. I'm coming with you. No, you're not. Not this time. Stay with Weller and prep the shuttle. But... This is non-negotiable, Lexine. I'm going and you're staying. Got it? Okay. Hey, McNeil. Good luck. Okay, Captain's Nest. Off the bridge. Yes. 
now. Stasis it, I'll be chopped to pieces. Self-explanatory. Stasis to Fano, you get chopped as you fall through. Not particularly damaging, though. But you have so much time, there's really no excuse for not doing it. I mean, come on, you were even given recharges here. This is the only place you're gonna find them. I would assume you're able to grab stuff you missed earlier, but there's nothing for me here. Nate, please hurry. I think I hear something coming. Stay in the control room. You'll be safer there. Use Weller's pistol if you have to.
No, I can do this. Good job. I'm still in the vents. There's some in here Be too. Careful. I'll see you when you get back. Whoa. Laser trip wire, ADS shell. Yeah, somebody sure didn't want those things coming down here. You'll have to pick up the boxes and throw them into the trip wires to proceed. Well, you could have just ducked under them, but I guess this is to prepare you for the next part. Trim. This will have to do. You know what to do. This time, though, you gotta be fast or you take damage. Tripwires have a slight delay, so if you cut it too close, you'll still get caught in the blast. As you can see, Looks like a bunch of guys tried to make a last stand and wanted to shut the door to the security hall. How do I get through? Nate, he can hardly talk. It's all I can do to keep him awake. You'll have to find another way. Damn it. All right, McNeil out.
Fine. I'm on the bridge deck. The captain's nest is just below my location. Thank God. Hurry. Weller's lost a lot of blood. Lexine out. Atrium has a bunch of canisters for you to play with. Well, if you're paying attention, that pickup is a force gun. Obviously, I was not paying attention. I do wise up later. Captain's nest is this way. Engines. Life support. There.
That should do it. What's going on? Lex, I need to talk to Weller. How's he doing? Look here. Some of the cannons are still online. The shutdown process got aborted halfway. Figures? If one cannon malfunctions, the rest can't be disabled. Must be the <laughs> crash landed near his power array. Can I disable it from there? Weller's nodding his head. Yes. Okay, Lex. I'm on my way now. McNeil out. Scene? Game's gonna try to cheap shot you here. You can find a med kit in the control room. I'll be back soon. I promise. Take this pulse rifle if you don't already have one.
You'll have two choices at each position. First choice doesn't really matter. You'll fight the same enemies. Your choices afterwards will be different though. From here on out, your choices determine what enemies you face. Where you can go from here depends on where you are. The wall you can jump to will depend on which way you came, but the middle is always the same. Okay, the final jump gets a bit complicated, but there are three possible final locations. But to put it simply, if your first two choices were the same, like left left or right right, then either of the final choices will bring you to a wall with no enemies. So this is the simplest path to take. But if you alternated directions, like say left right, then you'll have choices with enemies, in which case a purely alternating route will get you here. Whereas a weird path gets you here, All routes end here, though. Exiting zero gravity. Exiting vacuum. There it is.
Got it. Entering vacuum. Entering zero gravity. Are you there yet? It's disabled. I'm on my way back. Please hurry. Weller's in really bad shape, and I can't find any painkillers. I said I'm coming! Just... just hold on. I'm going as fast as I can. You'll be able to choose your path back as well, but it makes no difference. There are no enemies, there are no items, unless maybe you didn't pick any up. There's some new stuff by the entrance. Pick it up if you need it, but leave it if you don't. Well, it's another boss. You probably guessed that was coming, though. So I hope to God you picked up that pulse rifle. Ah, what the fuck? Okay, here's the pattern. It attacks four times with the tentacles. The one it uses is random, but you can cancel that by shooting the appropriate cartilage. Since you listen to me and you grab the pulse rifle, you'll have an easy time. Amazing how much easier it is with the right weapons, huh? Now the boss will attack with these balls coming out of the sides of his throat, and you gotta shoot him. This is a mouth, right? Do I even want to know? As you can see, other weapons are perfectly fine for this. I would save the pulse rifle ammo. Force gun works perfectly fine. Flamethrower is good. The mouth, I'm assuming it's a mouth, will become a weak point after this. Although I already hit it with the force gun, so you can't tell. Then the boss will bring out a bunch of balls that you gotta shoot, or else it'll whack you with it. And what the fuck am I talking about? After destroying all the balls, you can finally hit the boss's weak point. I'm pretty certain this is what damages the boss. Never dealt the final blow any other way. And then the pattern starts over. The fight really doesn't change. Except the boss will have fewer balls the closer he is to death. Somehow I said that with a straight face. Also a stinger or two might spawn. I have no idea what triggers them. Well, in case you haven't figured it out, you gotta slash your own arm off. It's pretty fucked up. If not, you die. 
It's gonna take a while, so don't wait too long to start. Made that mistake once on a job up in Jersey. Figured if I showed up at the house around midnight, I'd have plenty of time, but man, I didn't get done until almost noon. I had to spend the rest of the day in the house. Let me tell you, it was not a pleasant smell.